the one night. They are paid to put fear into you. That's what they're paid to do. Like right there, if you type in coronavirus in China, I mean, you see. Stupid shit. That's what makes this country great, is that you can have that freedom of speech. Three days after that, he passed away. Things are happening too close to each other to be a coincidence, you know what I mean? So, I don't know what the hell is going on anymore in this fucking world. It's getting ridiculous. The major reasons why I don't like hospitals, I don't like doctors. They don't care about us, they just, they don't. They care about making the money. Beyonce and Jay-Z, which I had no idea they're still relevant. I don't know why they're still relevant. They're talentless pieces of shit. All right, guys, have a good day. Take care. What's going on, everybody? Uh, wanted to make another little video today. Um, cause I'm sure a majority of you, which isn't much because nobody watches my videos anymore, but I uh, didn't see the last video. It got taken down instantly because you know i talked about racism i talked about covid and just biden and of all of those all, of all those things that i talked about my video got banned for talking about covid saying i was giving out false information what i was saying I could probably uh kill somebody and you know saying i was just misleading um Nothing about what I said. I gave my opinion and what I think COVID is to me and saying that I had it so I kind of know what to expect. But, you know, they said that was uh, misleading, inappropriate, and if I do it again, they're suspending me. So I was like, wow. Welcome to communism, eh? Socialism. This is what you guys wanted. There goes freedom of speech, pretty much. So... Congratulations. <laughs> but today I just wanted to kind of talk about just the pettiness in this world and uh, all this country anyway. And let's start off with this. Can you imagine being so petty, so sensitive that Mr. Potato Head bothers you? Hmm. Think about that. Mr. Potato Head, a fucking toy. Yeah, that's what we're dealing with now. That's that's very sad. You're taking away Mrs. Buttersworth. You're taking away Land Lakes. You want to take Cracker out of Cracker Barrel. No, we, we never complained about that. How is that racist? That's racist to everyone but the people that actually is supposed to offend, right? That makes no sense in this one. I don't, I don't get it. Um, <sighs> I don't know, man. It's, it seems like this is a dream in a way. You don't want to believe, necessarily can't believe that people are this dumb, but they actually are. And now we got a dumbass president who's bombing Syria, who's threatening Russia. I like how he says, you know, Russia and Putin will no longer be attacking us cyberly and will not be getting interfered with our elections anymore. It's like they weren't in the first place, you dumb shit. You guys made us made up this whole Russian collusion against Trump, blaming it on him when it was actually you dumbasses doing it. I, I don't. Uh, it doesn't even seem like he's our president because I know he's not. In my eyes, he's not. But it legitly feels like that. There's no one running this country right now. Given we know better, it's Obama and all the dumbasses behind the scenes. He got his third term, but it's. Sorry for all the noise. I gave the dog a, a, a bone and she's going crazy. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's, it's very odd to me. It's, everything is strange. Um, you know, they're saying that we're going to be masked through 2022 probably. And even if we get the vaccine, we still got to wear our mask. We still got to social distance. It's like, if the masks work, why the vaccine? If the vaccine works, why the mask? If the vaccine... 
and vaccines work, why does social distancing? You know, none of that shit works. And everyone that's getting the vaccine now, they feel fine the first round, they go back for that second dose and everyone's getting sick. My fiance's mom works at a, uh, an elderly home, you know, nursing home. And the military came in to give vaccines to them against their will. Well, I guess, yeah, the patients will for sure. And they're giving them, they're dropping out like flies going to the ER because it was making them extremely sick. I mean, your rights, your freedom is being taken away. And everyone's just concerned about LGBTQTRSXWFYZ shit. Right? It's. And here's another thing I find funny. You want everyone to be more accepting of the LGBTQT community and all that shit, but yet there's no genders. So if there's no genders, then what's the point of the LGBTQT shit? Like, that is labeling each one as a gender, right? Uh, <clears throat> if someone commits a crime now, and because you can't use pronouns, pronouns hurt your feelings, what are you going to say of, like, I don't know, white male six foot tall, you know, robbed a store or killed somebody. How are you supposed to identify them now since, you know, you can't assume anybody's gender anymore? And it's a hate crime, apparently. And look at Dave Chappelle, you know, everyone loved him for, I've never really cared for him, but, you know, it's okay for, say, people like Dave Chappelle, comedians, to make fun of a certain group of people, but when that said, celebrity makes fun of a certain other group of people. In this case, it was uh, the transgender group. They want to deplatform him. They want to get rid of him, right? You can't talk about us. You can talk about everyone else because we don't like them. Either. You know, we don't like them. That's fine. But you start talking about us. No, that's not okay. You see the hypocrisy here. You see how you can't talk about anybody or say anything without hurting anybody, without getting something canceled. This cancel culture shit is. I I'm fed up with it. It's. It's. It needs to end. You know, it's, there's more serious things going on in this world than to frickin' worry about whether someone called you ma'am or sir. Come on. Uh, and you got this dumbass buffoon in the White House, which he isn't really there, he's in some frickin' basement somewhere. That's, Has he even given the State of the Union address yet? Have you actually ever sat down and tried to listen to what he says? He makes no sense at all. And all the questions that's given to him are loaded questions. You know, they already sit him down. They have to go through what questions they're going to ask him and make sure he gets his answers right. They're all softball questions, too. Why aren't you giving him the same treatment you gave Trump? Because you know Biden's a dumbass. Now, do I think he's dumb? Debatable. Do I think he has a mental problem? Yes. Why I say debatable is because you can go back 48 years of him being in some type of office position or... Uh, government position, political, and he's made dumb choices since day one. So, yeah, he's probably dumb, but now he has a legit reason. He, he doesn't need to be in the position that he's in. He's what you would call a, a scapegoat, I guess, for the left. Um, they come up with all these laws and all these rules and all these policies, and they just tell him to sign and he signs. He doesn't read it. He doesn't know what he's signing, and this is what you guys want. It's like this $15 an hour shit. You all can't even make a freaking a Big Mac the way I want it. And you want $15 an hour. Like, no. And the cost of living is going to go up because you guys want $15 an hour. A minimum wage is set for people with minimal skill sets. That's what a minimum wage is. Somebody's getting paid $8 an hour, that's because they don't know how to do anything. That's what that needs to be. You need to earn your pay increase. I don't want to be working somewhere for 20 years, getting paid, you know, $13 an hour, and all this now, all this, all of a sudden, this junior son of a bitch, freaking 18 years old, first job, 
is getting paid more than me because of minimum wage. That's not how this shit should work. Seriously, no. This country is royally screwed the fuck up right now, and this shit needs to stop. You know, they call for unity and all this other shit, but what, what were they doing when they were against Trump and bashing him and attacking all of his Trump supporters? Now they want unity because they got who they want in. No. Fuck you. I'm so tired of the hypocrisy. I'm so tired of the two-sided... I, I deal with a bunch of two-faced people, but that's to be expected. But I'm just mainly talking about, like, you know, the hypocrisy and then the one-way street. It's either our way or no way. And the whole, you know, males being able to compete in female sports now. No. Like I said in that one video, it's like, if you're okay with watching an MMA fight with a female and a male, you have issues. There's two genders. Male, female. And with all this now, with the, the getting, they want freaking children to be able to determine, to decide whether they want to take puberty blockers or not, to, let, to decide whether they want to be transgender or not. They can't even decide when's a good bedtime for them, and you want them to make the decision of what's going to ultimately change their life drastically. You want to inject them with estrogen. Estrogen causes cancer in male bodies. This is just another way to kill off the population. It's, and if you don't think that's it either, it's still quit trying to force on children what they should be. Let them live their lives. Let them go through puberty. That's when they find out who they are. That's when they get, you know, to know their bodies. Wait till the age of consent until they want to, you know, decide if they want to make that decision for themselves or not. Don't get a six-year-old and make him a transgender because you don't, even a 13-year-old, when they start to go through puberty because you don't want to deal through that. You know, you want to be this pushover, lousy, shitty parent that doesn't want to deal with the moodiness or the puberty or whatever it is, so you just want to take the easy way out and say, oh yeah, you can do this, that's fine, and not deal with any of that. You're a shitty ass parent, you're what's wrong with this country, this world, if you're okay with that. Kids do not need to be making that type of decision. They shouldn't even really be knowing about that at that young of an age. Like I said, the age of consent, if they want to decide to go that route then, fine. Wait 16 to 18 years old, fine. But at 6, 7, 8, no. And then they're trying to say that they, these people need to get evaluated before the sex change. But here's their excuse for that. It's like they shouldn't get evaluated. I mean, if people that take erectile dysfunction medication or, you know, stuff like that, they need to be evaluated. Like, no. That's erectile dysfunction. That's a minor problem depending on who you are, changing the whole sex of a child is more, yeah, that's a little more drastic, don't you think? Like, the parent should be evaluated if you're trying to get your child a sex change. Like, come on. Jesus Christ. I'm just so flustered right now. It's not even funny. I, I don't... I need to get out of this country. For real. Oh, man. I've been looking more and more into moving to Japan. Seriously. I just, I don't... Get out of this country. Get far away from here. Ugh. But we'll see if this video gets taken down too, because I'm sure I hurt somebody over there on YouTube because they have a problem with opinions, just like everyone else in this world seems to have. Nobody can have an opinion unless you agree with them, and otherwise everyone else is wrong. Whatever. Thank you guys for watching. I'm going to have more videos. I'll hopefully don't get banned, but if they do, then fuck YouTube. Bye. Thank you guys for watching. We'll talk to you later.